In this video, we'll help you get started with ZoomShift. You'll learn about changing organization details, creating and inviting your team members, creating positions and locations and how to assign those, creating shift templates, and how to tweak your notification settings. To get started, go to Settings. You can change the basic information by going to Details and Time Zone. Here, you can change the name of the organization, the time zone, and the day of the week you start your schedules on. In Positions, you can create all the different positions you'll use for scheduling. You can create as many different positions as you'd like. For example, by clicking on New Position, you can create a position name, a color, and assign team members to that position. By clicking Locations, you can create different locations to use in scheduling. Locations can be different physical locations or different parts of a single location. You can adjust and add locations by clicking New Location. Click Shift Templates and you'll be able to create shifts that you'll use frequently so you won't have to recreate a shift each time you need it. You'll be able to enter in shift times, breaks, positions, locations, and useful notes when you create a shift template. Now we'll look at how to create and invite team members. There are two ways to do this. The first is to click on New. You can then enter their name, email, phone number, and other important information. Send Invite invites them to join as soon as you've created their profile. Turn this off if you want to wait to send an invite. With your team members, you have multiple options. They can be assigned multiple positions plus different locations. They can be given different permissions based on their role in the organization. You can also import team members via CSV files. Up to 250 members can be added at once. If you've created a team member but haven't invited them yet, just click on the Invite button to send them an email or text message with the invitation. Finally, you can adjust notification settings to suit your organization's needs. To avoid spamming your team members, you can turn off duplicate text message notifications once they have the app installed. Individual team members can always adjust their own notification preferences by clicking on their profile initials.